Hi, I'm Joe James. This is my fourth video in the series on image filters or uh, image manipulation using the Java buffered image library. So in previous videos, we learned how to load and display an image file on the screen, how to pixelate an image or reduce the resolution of it, and also how to convert an image to grayscale. In this video, we're going to learn how to resize an image, or mainly to reduce the size of an image. And our goal here with all these videos is to build up enough functionality in our program to be able to do machine learning from an image or to recognize features like text or something from an image. Without further ado, um, let's start with this video. So this is Java code. This is the same code that we used in the previous videos, which is available for download on GitHub at the link down below in the comments. We're going to start out with a function call to the resize function. All this code we've walked through in previous videos, so if you want to see updates on how all this works, you can download the code and run it, or for an explanation, you can see the previous videos. For the resize function, which we haven't written yet, we're going to pass in two parameters. First, the image that we load up, right? We're loading up an image called IMG, which is an image file. And then we're going to pass in a parameter also for the new height. Um, I know that's a little unusual. Normally, when you resize an image, you would want to send in a percentage. Um, but um, you can change this if you want. This is I, I chose to use the new height for the image. So let's look at the function. Let's set up a function header here. We're going to pass in a buffered image called IMG and a parameter for new height, which is an integer. And that's going to be in pixels. And we're going to return a buffered image. So the first thing we'll do is just print out just a message that says um, that we're scaling an image, just to let the user know that we made a function call to this function. And then we need to get our scale factor. So here's where you could deviate from my implementation here. Instead of uh, passing in a new height and then calculating a scale factor, which would be a percentage, you could just pass in a percentage and skip this line. So it may be easier. Or you may prefer to do it that way. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but I passed in the new height and then divided that by the height of the image that I passed in so that I could get a double uh, for the scale factor. And I'm going to use that same scale factor for both the uh, vertical and horizontal scale. So we want it to scale proportionately. So we're going to create a new buffered object called scaled image. This will be the, the reduced size image. It's a new buffered image. And the size that we're going to set that equal to is um, the new height, which we passed in, and also the scale factor times the width of the image that we passed in. So now we've got uh, both the width and the height set, and we're also going to use grayscale. This is only uh, going to accept a grayscale image, and it's only going to return a grayscale image. And we're going to um, use the affine transform here. So we create a new affine transform object called AT. Uh, by the way, it's important to have the imports up here. I have an import for Affine Transform right here. Uh, you must include that or you are going to get an error. And then we'll call AT Scale. Um, so we're going to scale the Affine Transform. We pass in the scale factor twice because that's the x scale factor and the y scale factor or, or vertical horizontal and vertical scale factors we want both to be the same we want a proportionate scaling so we're passing in the scale factor for both the x and y uh, coordinates next we're going to pass in this uh, at uh, affine transform object into an affine transform op called scale op so we have a new scale op uh, object we're passing in AT to that, and we're going to use a, a bilinear transformation. And lastly, we apply a filter on the scale op um, with two parameters, the image and the scaled image. So the starting image and the resulting image. 
And this scale up basically does the resizing for us and returns that object. So a lot happens in this one last line here. And that's it. That is our resize. It's pretty simple. We didn't do this pixel by pixel. Instead, we kind of cheated and used an Affine transform, which is much, uh, it's better quality, uh, frankly. So we could have recalculated our own pixel by pixel using nested for loops, as I've done in some of our other functions. But in this case, I think the Affine transform does a cleaner job than I could do manually. So let's try that out and see how it works. We'll compile and run it. Okay, so we got uh, our starting image and then our resized image, which is only 150 pixels in height. So you can see that worked perfectly. I hope this video was helpful for you. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to learn how to apply a Gaussian blur to a buffered image. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.